Hello everyone, my name is Oma Prabha, second year junior resident from Department of Radiology from KVG Medical College, Sulia. Today I'll be talking about multi-system atrophy, a rare cell nucleinopathy. So the main objective was to determine the clinical usefulness of MRI imaging in uh, multi-system atrophy through a case scenario. There is a 66 year old male who came with history of gait and speech alteration on physical and neurological uh, examination. The findings were as such. Uh, the patient had slurred speech, gait ataxia, and bilateral appendicular cerebellar ataxia. Deep tendon reflexes were present, three of four. And then there was bilateral Babinski sign positive. And uh, arterial pressure was 130 by 80 mm of Hg. And radial pulse was 60 beats per minute on supine position. And BP was 100 by 70 uh, and the pulse was 70 beats per minute in standing position. So the MRI findings were as such. On axial flare image, we can see the brainstem atrophy, predominantly involving the pons in the medulla. Here is a T2 axial image showing diffuse atrophy of cerebellum and uh, cerebellar peduncles and uh, T2 hyperintensity involving the white matter uh, tracts in the pons, giving it a characteristic hot cross bun appearance, suggestive of pontocerebellar tract degeneration. We have uh, axial flare, T1 sagittal and T2 coronal images of the brain with the T1 sagittal image showing corpusculosum atrophy, giving it a characteristic double hump camel sign. So the, I've summarized the MRI findings in the slide. The show, it shows the brainstem atrophy predominantly involving the pons in the medulla, atrophy of cerebellum and the cerebellar peduncle, and uh, due to T2 hyperintensity involving the white matters in the pons, and uh, atrophy of carpus, corpus callosum. So the impression, diffuse atrophy of cerebellum and the cerebellar peduncle, brainstem atrophy predominantly involving the pons in the medulla with the hot cross bun sign, uh, features suggestive of multisystem atrophy. So the coming to the topic proper, multisystem atrophy is more rapidly progressive neurodegenerative disorder among the various types of cell nucleinopathies. The cause of MSA remains unknown, but it can involve the extrapyramidal system, the pyramidal system, the autonomic nervous system, and cerebellum. The main clinical manifestations are clear Parkinson's symptoms, a cerebellar ataxia, pyramidal tract signs, and autonomic nervous system disorders. Depending on the initial uh, predominant motor deficits, the MSA is subclassified into Parkinson's type, that is MSAP, and cerebellar type, that is MSAC. So the conclusion is that it is a rare case of MSA, MSAC in a 66-year-old male with predominant uh, cerebellar signs. Our case is classified as probable MSA since the diagnosis of MSA is de defined just with uh, pathological analysis. There is no specific treatment for MSA. Only, uh, only symptomatic interventions can be made. So these are my references.